name's Andrea and today I'm presenting a how-to video on behalf of the feeding guide, how to express breast milk using a manual pump. Today I'll be using the Harmony Pump by Medela and I'll start by showing you how to assemble this pump. You want to make sure that you have all pieces of the pump ready to go before you start, clean and sterilised. We'll start by grabbing the breast shield and putting that on the connector. You want to make sure that you have a really good seal because that's important for your pump to work effectively. Next, I'm going to place the valve in the bottom of the connector. And for this particular pump, I need to make sure that that's in a certain position on the side. Connect the bottle to the pump. And lastly, connect the handle. So now I'm going to show you how to use the manual pump. It's a good idea to start with your fullest breast first, and I found using a manual pump like this particularly helpful for cracked or grazed nipples or to relieve discomfort from engorgement in those early days. So before you start, make sure that you've got everything that you need handy, and I always like to have a glass of water with me because it is thirsty work. So I've got a standard size breast shield here today, it is important to have the right size breast shield for you so that you get a good seal, you don't damage your nipple and you get optimal emptying of the breast. Now I'm going to show you how to correctly attach the breast pump. First of all, line the shield up onto the breast with the nipple in the centre of the tunnel. Support the breast and hold the breast pump in place. When you're ready to begin, using the quick short pumps, to stimulate the letdown. So, so far I've been pumping for about a minute and a half and I've been getting a little bit of milk come out, but I just need to pump that a little bit more until I get the full letdown. Um, some women can feel the letdown on their other breast and that's the signal that the milk is coming through and you can move to the long uh, pumping action. Depending on the reason that you're pumping, Pump for as long as you need to to feel comfortable if you're relieving engorgement or until you find that the flow of the milk slows or stops. That would be when you would move to the next breast. So I've just expressed enough today to relieve some discomfort, but if you have some questions about how much to express, speak to your health professional. And for more information, head to the breastfeeding tip section on feedingguide.com.au.